Our 8 News Now investigation into the California water hogs. In a few places, they have been recycling water, even wastewater, for decades. But in most places, it hasn't really caught on. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne went to California to find out why. He joins us live in studio now with more. Kyle? Brian, here in Southern Nevada, they say every drop of water that gets that hits a drain pipe gets recycled. In Los Angeles, that number is only 2%. But in California, they have more recycling options. Storm water, seawater, and yes, sewage water. The question is, are they recycling it or wasting it? What these seagulls and ducks here in South LA probably don't know is the water on which they frolic and above which they fly fills this man-made lake in a park dedicated by a living legend. Struggle for our community. And Magic Johnson Park, named after the legendary LA Laker, has a pretty interesting lake of its own. Right here, alongside the playgrounds and walking trails, the scientists and engineers are using this intricate maze of machines to treat and reuse stormwater. And there's a lot more to it than you might think. And then the water gets diverted here where it gets treated with ozone, alum, and um, chlorine. What this all means is they're trapping stormwater that would otherwise be unused and reuse it to water the park. Freeing up other water supplies like that precious Colorado River water for Angelinos to drink and shower with while the park waters itself. We often say water is life. And like life, water supply is short in Southern California, not to mention Southern Nevada. And up against questions about whether cities like LA are doing enough to recycle water, LA Public Works Principal Engineer Matt Frary says LA County's Safe Clean Water Program, cleverly known as Prop W, uses $280 million, costing the average homeowner another 80 bucks a year to fund hundreds of projects like this one and increase the local water supply. Little by little, compared to the millions and millions of gallons of stormwater that rush out to sea. Seems like a pittance. A, a single park might seem like a pittance, but it's a step in the right direction. Inevitably, the direction of the water recycling conversation leads somewhere some Californians aren't quite ready for. And that's the idea of taking wastewater, treat it to high quality standards, safe enough for the public. Jesus Gonzalez is the manager of recycled water policy for LA's Department of Water and Power, where there are four wastewater treatment plants serving some big commercial customers about 4 billion gallons of water a year and their 20 to 30 year plans indicate that number should be considerably higher. So we can agree there's a long way to go. Long way to go, we've made good progress. The conversation about water recycling has landed at the doorstep of many a courthouse, where legal battles have waged on for years. But what's going on here at the Santa Monica Courthouse has nothing to do with the law. It's got everything to do with what lies beneath. That's kind of the MO of our industry is out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, definitely, hidden here underneath this parking lot in downtown Santa Monica, where this first of its kind $96 million recycling plant leverages all sorts of water, including municipal wastewater, to make a drought resilient supply, hoping to rely on their own recycled water and not Colorado River water. But when it comes to recycled wastewater, there's always the so-called toilet to tap. The ick factor. Ick factor. It's gone away. Gone away towards supplementing Mother Nature with technology, Wang says. That and millions of gallons of recycled water every day. In the grand scheme of the massive drought along the Colorado River, though, a million gallons is barely a drop in the proverbial bucket. You look at that as a small drop in the bucket, but if everybody does one, you keep adding that one up, it becomes a much larger number to help somebody. Water has value, even if it's wastewater. Bill Hazenkamp is the manager of Colorado River Resources for the Metropolitan Water District, which provides water to 19 million Southern Californians. He says Southern Nevadans, who pride themselves on recycling almost 100% of their wastewater, have a leg up on California, because once sewer water or stormwater makes it to the Pacific Ocean, it's gone for good. Unlike Las Vegas, where the wastewater flows back into Lake Mead, it's automatically recycled. Recycled automatically or otherwise, Hazenkamp says, using the water twice or even three times is necessary because the water situation is dire, with Lake Powell and Lake Mead at their lowest levels ever. Is it bad? It's really bad. This is an overwhelming endeavor. It's an overwhelming endeavor. It's an endeavor the engineers at LA Water and Power are trying to solve, spending billions of dollars over the next 10 to 20 years on small projects like Magic Johnson Park and other much larger projects along the same lines. But it's not easy. Do you think in our lifetimes we'll see this water problem solved? 
good one. The MWD did tell 8 News Now they're in the early stages of working on the largest single water recycling project in the country. We'll follow the progress of that and report back. Kyle, you told us earlier that only 2% of the water supply in Los Angeles is recycled. Maybe people didn't hear that right. Just 2%. How is that even possible? I, I don't know, but I double and triple checked and desalination, taking the salt out of the seawater, which is tomorrow's story. They're not even a factor in that story, LA. It's 0%. All right, more from Kyle tomorrow and again on Thursday. So this is why we're calling our series the, the California Water Hogs. You can see all of Kyle's special reports on our website at 8newsnow.com. And also be sure to join us for part three tomorrow night at 6 and 11.